Hello friends, happy Monday. Hope your day's going great so far. Um, so I was not able to go, well not go live, do this Bible study last week. I think I was only able to do it Monday and Tuesday. I let you guys know that my husband was going to a pastor's conference uh, for work starting Wednesday all the way through uh, Saturday in Jacksonville. And um, I went with them and the kids went with them. They were nice enough to host us and we had a great time. I went to like a worship uh, conference with the Gettys. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. They're amazing. And I went to a women's conference as well. So it was very enriching, very edifying, very encouraging. Uh, so we came back, we came back Sunday. Um, so here we go. So if you do follow me on Instagram, then you know um, I posted a picture there. If you don't, hop on over and go check it out. I posted a picture there because in the women's conference, um, this author, this children's, author, children's books, children's book author, books author, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, she uh, she spoke to us, and uh, she was part of the conference. And her name is Sally Lloyd Jones. And I had heard of her a few um, a few years ago. Uh, the pastor J.D. Greer, which we listen to quite often, had mentioned her and had mentioned this Bible that he that she had done or she had wrote or something for kids, and how it was so amazing that even adults can read it. And he was like, "Wow, this is you know really cool. I love her stuff." Um, so he mentioned her, um, and then a while back, I remember well, not a while back, maybe last year, my brother actually went to my sister's house, and he was like, "Hey, somebody gifted you know her son." Um, a Bible, a kid's Bible, a children's Bible. And he goes, and I was reading it and this is just so amazing. Like it was really even getting to me and I think it's so deep. So he's like, hey, I highly recommend you guys check it out. Um, and I just like completely like went over my head. I was like, oh yeah, that's great. I, I, I wish I could and never got around to it. Um, well, here we are when I went to that conference and she's speaking. Apparently, this is the Bible that my my brother was talking about. And when I posted the picture, he was like, hey, this is the Bible I was talking to you about. And I was like, oh my gosh, God is so good. I finally got my hands on it. Um, and again, it's the Bible that J.D. Greer had mentioned that was for kids. So I, I heard it throughout these years and I'm like, man, I want to get it. I want to get it. But this was the time that God wanted me to get it. So I did. Um, and it was so amazing to hear her and what she does and kind of her testimony. Um, and uh, she, yeah, she is from she's I think she was born in Africa but she went to school in like England or something I don't know she has a British accent um which obviously makes it even cooler that she's like you know this writer anyways so I got a chance to meet her I got the bible it's called the um Jesus story book bible apparently everybody has it everybody knew about it about but me I'm like the last one to get on board with this um because I posted a picture on on social media and everybody was like I have the bible I have the bible and I was like why didn't you guys tell me about it so I finally got around to getting it and I got it for Lucia because she's struggling with her reading um and I was like let me do it this might be a really cool way for you know for me to encourage her and read along with her so I did and she was actually nice enough to sign it for me. So, well, not for me, for um, for Lucia. So she has here, says, for Lucia, with love, Sally Lloyd-Jones. Um, so I thought it was really nice of her. And I shared it with her. I told her, hey, my seven-year-old daughter actually struggled with her reading. And she was like, well, let her know that I struggled too and it didn't hold me back. So um, that was really, really cool encouragement, a word of encouragement that I gave to Lucia. And I took a picture with her and I showed it to her. So this is pretty special for her already. So today we started it and I started reading it um, and I have been praying about what to kind of do with you guys. I do have a few books lined up that I want to share with you guys. I think it'd be really cool for us to do it together. But um, a friend of mine told me, hey, this this is actually really cool. Even Bible study that you could do on your own, like on your own, like for adults. And I was like, ding! I was like, I could totally do this on my YouTube channel. I think it's something so different because it is a children's bible um which in, in essence it really is not a bible because like it's not like oh you know first corinthians blah 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 and you look it up um so it's not a bible per se it's more of like a children's book but it has all the stories in the bible and scriptures so um and it's all based on jesus the ages is ages four and up and i'm definitely the up <laughs> We're, we will be the up uh so yeah i want to go ahead and, and start reading it with you guys and i just love how simple it is i feel like sometimes we can really overcomplicate christianity and the word and um and i'm all about going deep in theology and all that good stuff 
But you know what? It's just so good to just be reminded of the truth in a very simple, elemental, elementary, basic way um, about these truths and these promises in scripture. And that's what she does in this Bible, at least what I saw in the first chapter. So um, if you want to follow along and you have the book, take it out. If you don't, grab it. Maybe I could put a link uh, to where you guys can get it below. Um, but anyways, this is her best, best, best selling uh, book. She also has other children's books, which I am dying to get. I love children's books. Like Dr. Seuss, like my kids have all the Dr. Seuss books. I like Fancy Nancy. I love my favorite book growing up was if you give a, a, it is a mouse a cookie, frog and toad. I love those books. I'm like a true kid at heart. Um, so anyways, without further ado, because I see this intro is like five minutes and 45 seconds. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's jump right into it. Okay. So the Jesus Story Bible by Sally Lloyd-Jones. And she has acknowledgments and stuff. She has a table of contents. Um, but let's start with the first one. It's called the story and the song. The story and the song. Okay. Um, and the introduction is from Psalm 19 in Hebrews 1. All right. So Psalm 19 verses 1 through 1 through 2. She paraphrases it. Okay. So it's not like the actual verse. Um, I guess so the kids can get it. I'm guessing. All right. So it says the heavens are singing about how great God is and the skies are shouting it out. See what God has made day after day, night after night, they are speaking to us. So like nature, you know, it's all shouting that, you know, God, the God loves us. Okay. So she says, God wrote, I love you. He wrote it in the sky and on the earth and under the sea. He wrote his message everywhere because God created everything in his word to reflect him like a mirror to show us what he's like to help us know him, to make our heart sing. So we can see God everywhere. I love how she like tells these kids from the get, you know, everything you see is God really telling you, I love you, all right? The way a kitten chases her tail, the, red, the way red poppies grow wild, um, the way a dolphin swims, and God put it into words too, and wrote it in a book called the Bible. So right there, just a little intro as to what is this? Because I feel like the Bible could be very daunting for new believers, for new Christians, for baby Christians, and also for children. Like, oh my gosh, this book, you know, a collection of books, 66 books, what is this? So I love how she simplifies it so they can really understand it for those of us who are a little slow. Um, okay, so continue. It says, now some people think the Bible is a book of rules telling you what you should and shouldn't do. The Bible certainly does what the, sorry, the Bible do, certainly does have some rules in it. They show you how life works, but the Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. How deep is that? The Bible is not about me. <laughs> and I feel like so many um, churches nowadays that claim to be Christian make it about us. Everything has to be about us. No, it's not. Pushing that off to the side. We're going to see what it's about. Okay. So again, but the Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. It's about God and what he has done. So step back and looking at scripture and saying, it's not about me. This story is not about, it, it can apply to me absolutely and I am involved, but it's not primarily about me. Okay, it's about what God is doing and what he has done and what he's going to do. Other people think the Bible is a book of heroes showing you people you should copy. The Bible does have some heroes in it, but as you'll soon find out, most of the people in the Bible aren't heroes at all. They get afraid. Sorry, they're not heroes at all. They make some big mistakes, sometimes on purpose. They get afraid and run away. At times, they are downright mean. Um, and she has an illustration here. I think the illustration was uh, by somebody called Jago. Hopefully I'm not mispronouncing that. Mispronouncing it. My son, I just hear him going up the stairs. So if you see him, sorry. Um, so this is over here. She has Noah, Moses, David, Leah, Daniel, Mary, Peter, Joseph, Abraham, Saul. So all of these things, all these people who you would see as heroes, right? So you say, Hey, this is how we should be living our lives. We look at the life of, um, uh, David and we say, Oh, that's me. I defeated Goliath. And we're going to see later that it's not, it's not us. Um, so yes, these heroes, we can look up to them, but it's not primarily about them. Okay. Why? Because they failed. 
Continuing, it says, no, the Bible isn't a book of rules or a book of heroes. The Bible is most of all a story. It's an adventure story about a young hero who comes from a far country to win back his lost treasure. It's a love story about a brave prince who leaves his castle, his, his, his castle, his palace, his throne, everything. He leaves everything to rescue the one he loves. It's like the most wonderful of fairy tales that comes true in real life. You see, the best thing about this story is it's true. There are lots of stories in the Bible, but all the stories are telling one big story. The story of how God loves his children and comes to rescue them. It takes the whole Bible to tell the story. And at the center of the story, there is a baby. Every story in the Bible whispers his name. I've told you guys from cover to cover, from cover to cover, the theme is Jesus. He is like the missing piece in a puzzle, the piece that makes all the other pieces fit together, and suddenly you can see a beautiful picture. And this is no ordinary baby, no. This is the child upon whom everything will depend. This is the child who would one day... But wait! Our story starts where all the good stories start, right at the beginning. So she stops right there, she doesn't tell you exactly what happens, so that you can continue reading. All right, so that was, I guess, I'm guessing, the first chapter. And then maybe tomorrow I'll start the beginning, A Perfect Home. All right, so I don't know. I thought it was pretty neat. I've never done anything like this in my channel where I'm reading like a kid's book, kind of. But given um, how amazing this book is and what its message is and how simple it is, I think we could totally learn from it. Just going back to our roots, going back to the foundation, going back to just what it is that we really believe in. Um, I think it's amazing. And if it takes reading a children's book, Hey, I'll do it. All right, so that's about it. Tomorrow, maybe I'll, con I'll continue. Let me know what you think about this. I know I kind of, for a while, I've been doing a lot of like theology and like I was, I've was, i been doing like R.C. Sproul and blah, 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 and this and that. And now it's like, now you're going to a children's book, but I'm really excited. I think this is going to be um, amazing. And this idea, I mean, I think God gave me this idea. You know, I, I honestly, last week I was praying, I was like, Lord, guide me into something that you want me to share with you guys. I love being very real and organic with you guys. And this kind of fell on my lap and I was like, let's do it. All right. So that's about it, guys. Love you guys. Again, let me know what you think. If you want to get the book, I'll see if maybe I'll try to do a link below on Amazon so you guys can check it out there. Um, and if you have it already, that's better. You could just, um, pull it out. Okay. All right, love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.